<sighs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Skelet Cool. Today I thought it would be nice to do like a little chai update around my project pan. I haven't done any updates on my uh, YouTube channel but I just made like an Instagram post announcing that I was time because since I don't post very often I thought it would make like very makeup centric uh, videos. But since I'm saving more chai videos, I thought it'd be nice to do that. Um, so it's my first project pan. I'm still learning things, still like getting there. So if you have any tips or anything, please do let me know. Um, and yeah, let's go through my project pan. Before we get started, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Celeste. I love cruelty-free makeup, skincare. At that moment, when you know you're very close to heating pan on a powder product and you use it and you see that little pan showing. Mm. If you're into any of these topics, hobbies, whatever you want to call them, then consider subscribing for more similar content. I would love to have you here. Also, I have a beverage today, which is kombucha. This is um, Union Black Kombucha, the earthy one from Left Field Kombucha, which is a Scottish local company. Love the kombucha. It's a company that really made me fall in love into kombucha. Unfortunately, I can't drink it super often. Anyway, let's get started. Oh, and if you want to grab a beverage and join me, then feel free to do so. That'd be nice. Cool. So uh, I'm going to open my post to not forget anything. <laughs> I got it. Going from left to right, which I think will be the easiest, so I don't forget anything. We're gonna start with my Gennardel Enlightened Concealer. So this is a corrector I use. So, as you can see, I made like some serious progress, which is obvious because I use a corrector each time I do my makeup. And I just use this one because I, as I decided I'm not gonna buy another corrector until I finish that one. It's lasting forever. I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to finish it because there's honestly so much product and you need so little to correct your dark circles. I'm going in, in a bit more heavy because I realized that maybe the color is not quite the right one for me, but I kind of progressed towards like, as you can see, there was like a serious and then before in the center, I kind of, uh, make progress to the outside. So I think I can reach pan on that other side this year for sure. Maybe make it bigger, but I'm never gonna finish it this year. I don't think I'm gonna finish most of these products this year anyway, because I'm not sure I wear makeup often enough for that. Yeah, but I, I, I'm happy with that progress on this one. Cool, next we've got the ELF Polis Beauty Primer. Also this time I'm gonna think about taking proper photos rather than like with my uh, camera. I'll just use my phone this time so you can see a comparison and for next time that I make an update. But yeah, the ELF Polis Beauty Primer, again, it's something I use quite often so it's quite easy to, for me to go through it because whenever I use any sort of dewy foundation where I feel like I need to smooth a bit of my texture, I use that. This is what I looked like before and now I've hit pan on it. I can see like the other side of it. So, as you can see here, actually if you turn there, you can see that there is a hole for it. So, very excited about that. I'm gonna keep making progress. Again, I it's a bit odd for me because it's one of these products that I use anyway, so it's not super hard for me to push it to use it. I guess it's nice to prevent you from buying uh, another similar product where you already have one that fits that purpose, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm happy with the progress I made with that primer. Another product I made a lot of progress on is the ELF Puff Puff Primer. This is the um, like travel version, like it came in the kit. And I don't really love that primer, so I'm really glad how much progress I made with it. I'm not sure if it's breaking me or if it's one of my foundation, but I've been using it whenever I use uh, a matte foundation which is something that is in my project pan. So I've been using both whenever I'm kind of like, I'm thinking like doing a matte face and I just like use both of these products. So I just want to, if I'm not looking specifically for a very dewy look. So yeah, I'm very happy with the progress I made with this. Um, it's really getting close to being finished. 
So I'm really excited about that because, well, I've got another hydrating primer that is like a full size, so it's gonna take a while to finish. But I'm hoping once I finish that one, I can finally buy the Hydro Grip Primer from Mill because I've been wanting to try that one forever. And I'm not yet sure about if these primers really help with anything. But it's nice as like an extra hydration when you use drier formulas of foundation. So yeah, it's been nice in that sense. Cool. Next up is a foundation, which is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. This used to be my favorite foundation, which is why I picked it as um, for my project pan. It's not as much now because I feel like I can't get away with this as much in the winter that I can in the summer because it is a matte finish. But I've been using this fairly consistently and I've, I think I've never actually finished a foundation, which is terrible on my part. And it really takes some time to finish a foundation, especially if you're not someone that wears it every day. I'm, I'm making progress, I can hear inside that it, it, because it's quite a liquidy foundation, I can hear it making like more noise as I can feel like there's less product. I can see the side, if I let it sell, I can see the side kind of like showing through. But I, I still can't really track the progress on this, which is kind of annoying. So I'm hoping I can make enough progress soon so I can like start maybe making a mark with a marker. Cool. Um, concealer, another one that unfortunately I can't really track the progress because it's still like, I don't know if this is transparent. It's, I don't know if it's meant to be transparent or not, but it just shows still very full as you can see here. So unfortunately I can't really track the progress. At the beginning of my project pan, I used to use this super often. Uh, yeah, I need to go back to using that one. Another concealer, I put, I put way too many things I think in my project pan to be honest, but it's more about making progress in these products than it is to finish it. I know I'm not gonna finish most of these products by the end of this year. I've got the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer, uh, which is, you can see like the, you can see that it's like about halfway through. I think the consistency of the concealer means that it's, it kind of, if you let it sit, so, if you let it sit somewhere like this, it's just gonna drop like this so you can see the progress easier. So I feel like it's nice because I can see where I'm at. I'm about, yeah, as I said, halfway through the tube. So I might use a marker and kind of like show where I'm at for next time. But I've been using this whenever I don't wear much makeup. Uh, because it doesn't have enough coverage for my uh, kind of full face kind of situation because I have very dark circles. So yeah, I've been using this fairly consistently. I'm pretty happy with myself. Let's go into face products. Um, I'm gonna start with a blush because I've got a product that I'm really excited to show the, you the progress on. So I've got the Physician's Formula uh, Better Blush in Nude Silk. I'm not sure if this is available anymore. Um, I know when I bought, I think when I bought it, it was available in the UK, but it wasn't anymore in the US. So at the beginning, I wasn't sure how to use this because it's quite, it's an almost there kind of blush, kind of like a peachy, very nude color for like my skin tone. So it barely shows. It's almost like a slightly peachier bronzer, which I don't love because whenever I wear like blush I tend to like obviously wear something very heavily blushed and very colorful but I found a way of using this which I've been obsessed with uh, as part of a, my new makeup routine is to using this almost as a blush topper uh, because it's more of a glowy satiny formula I've just been really digging like going into multiple blushes to create more dimension and just use this as like a transition between my highlighter and my blush to just kind of give a more glowy appearance to my skin. So I've been using this fairly consistently, even though I've been kind of chaining on it for Luminosa recently. But I will go back to using this because I really like to finish this. I, I know what can do it because I, I, each time I use it, I'm very generously applying it. So yeah. If you don't know what to do with like glowy blushes, uh, especially if they like way too metallic for you. A great, using, a great way of using them 
is to just use them as blush topper with like a very light hand. You pick up a little bit and just go over like your cheeks. It's beautiful. Now a makeup item I'm super excited to show my progress on is the Flower Beauty um, Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette, which is more of a bronzing palette than it is contour in my opinion. And I've hit double pan on this, which I'm super proud of myself on. I've been using this pretty much each time that I do a full face of makeup. I'm gonna use this as for my bronzer and I usually use this as a highlighter. Even if I use another highlighter, it's such a beautiful color to use as a base if I'm using something a bit more glittery or colorful. So yeah, I think when I start the project, that's what it looked like. And it was, I was starting to hit pan on this, but I haven't hit pan on the bronzer. And now this is where we at. So as you can see, I made like serious indent in the bronzer and in the highlighter. So I think I can keep making a progress. Again, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it, but I'm hoping to have maybe, um, I can see there's four squares showing on the bronzer and about two on the highlighter, two and a half. Um, I think I can do four on the highlighter by the end of the year, and uh, maybe nine on the bronzer. Let's just say that, and we'll see. I mean, it, I don't, because for, for me, it's, it's such a nice formula, so it's not hard for me to use it. I just need one, I don't need like a particular bronzer to use. So the, even though this is slightly, more, slightly warmer, bronzer in my collection. I still really like using it like pretty much each time I do my makeup. So yeah, very proud of my progress on this. Another bronzer, I think it was a bad idea to put two in my project pan at the same time because I've been barely using that one. This is the MUA Bronze Perfection Matte Bronzer. I really, really like this bronzer. It's more of a red tone one, but it's just that I've been really trying to pan this so hard and then once I panned it, I just want to keep going that I'm not really reaching for this. And the thing is, this one is a bit more pigmented, so I like using it for like, if I'm just doing a very quick natural makeup, I might use this in my crease. This I find to be not as pigmented, so it's not as easy to use in my crease. But it's still a very nice bronzer. I think I'm probably gonna go and start using this next. Last time I took a photo, I just started hitting pan, so that's what it looked like. And now this is what it looks like. So I've barely like made a slightly more indent in it. Like the pan is just slightly more showing, but it's still not like proper pan hitting, if that makes sense. It's just like a little. So yeah. Uh, I like to kind of hit a nicer pan, maybe so that we can see a bit of the actual pan, like squares or like pattern. So that would be, I guess, my objective by the end of the year. Cool, let's do setting powder next. I've got this Fenty Pro Filter setting powder in butter. It's hard for me to track uh, progress on this because Again, the the container is not super transparent and powder doesn't really lay flat, so it's hard to kind of get to oops, lay flat. But I've definitely been using this, so I know I can make progress on this. It's just ideally I need to find a way of tracking this. And because it's a smaller container, I find it a bit hard. If you got any tips on how to track um, setting like loose setting powder progress, then that would be great. Um, but yeah, I need to go back into using this because I've been using another pressed powder instead, which is bad, bad Celeste. A product that I'm not sure if I want to keep in my project pan uh, is the ELF lip lacquer. I don't really love this. I'm not a big gloss wearer in the first place and this is not doing it for me. It's not shiny and nice looking enough for me to be like, if I'm gonna bother wearing a, a glass and get my hair stuck in my mouth all the time and then have my face mask stuck to me and stuff and just end up with gloss all over my face, I want to look effing stunning and this is not really doing it for me. So I'm not sure about it because I, I don't really want to keep using it. I'm not gonna donate it to someone because it's been a while that I own it. So I'm debating just throwing it away. Uh, 
I was thinking I could use it on like my normal makeup days, almost as a lip balm, but it's not moisturizing enough to do that. I've got my other ELF lip balm that I've been really enjoying. So this might be going out of my project pan, just being thrown away, is that allowed? Because I'm just not really using this. I guess I could select another product that might, another lip product that I'm more likely to use, even though I'm not very good at using it. Uh, lip products, I don't know, maybe a gloss or maybe a liquid lipstick, even though, yeah, again, I don't know. <laughs> Another product in my product pan ew, is this Pixi Glow Mist. So as you can tell, not finished, I don't think I made much progress on this. And to be honest, I'm just gonna throw away, because I, I've never really liked that product, I just want to finish it because I bought it on a whim and I just, I think I was almost punishing myself into like, well now that you buy it, you need to finish this. I never use this, it doesn't look good on me, I don't get how people make it work as like a makeup sink spray because it has oil in it, I find it just breaks down my makeup and I just look super shiny but not like in a good way, just like greasy. So. It's actually scented, it has like citrus oil and stuff in it and like quite irritating fragrance in it which my skin doesn't vibe with and despite being scented, it doesn't smell good <laughs> and I think um, it's probably way expired. I don't want to put this on my face, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> so instead what I've done is, since I'm not finishing this, I replaced it with another product. And for me, face mists are fairly easy to finish because unless I really don't want to use it, I'm gonna use a mist most of the time when I do my makeup. And most of my mists that I have currently, to be honest, I'm not super, super satisfied with. So I had to push myself a bit more to use them. But I'm super excited to announce that I finished my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set um, which is like a hydrating sink spray, kind of a bit like, um, it's meant to be like Mac Fix Plus. I never tried Mac Fix Plus. I love the smell of this. It smells like coconut and like vanilla and beachy. I've managed to finish it despite didn't like, I didn't like that spray. I find that I would turn very shiny very quickly. So what I've done is I've used that Urban Decay All Nighter Sing Spray Travel Size Bottle and I've poured it out slowly as I was like progressing through it to use it and have a nicer spray on it. And I've been really loving that thing. It's just, it bothers me. Like I find that so far I haven't found a single Sing Spray that I love both the formula and the uh, spray and that it doesn't break on me. So it's just like, it's really annoying because I want to find my holy grail and just keep buying that. But anyway, I finished uh, this because this is pretty much empty, it doesn't respray. Really this is pretty much empty, it just doesn't spray, any spray anymore. So yeah, finished that, I'm really proud of myself. And since I finished that sink spray, I think what I want to do is bring in another sink spray to finish. I'm kind of debating between two, but I think I'm gonna take the oldest I have, which I haven't been loving, but I, I think I started to find a way of using this, is the Cover Effect High Performance Sing Spray. This I love the spray of, it's super, super like fine mist, but I don't really like the formula. I find that it makes my makeup very, my face very sticky. It doesn't really dry quickly, I think, because it doesn't have alcohol in it. And it makes my eyeshadow patchy. But I found a way of using this and it's whenever I do uh, like a dewy summer face with like a kind of minimal makeup situation where I wear very dewy foundation, maybe a little bit of uh, bronzer in the crease, liquid blush and all that kind of thing. And I don't really set it with anything. I love using this like very finely because I find that it helps my makeup kind of stay on longer because it is it is a very like fixing spray type of deal. So uh, if you don't know how to use a sink spray that kind of does that for you, I think the best way is using it is on lighter makeup days where you want to maybe have a more dewy natural face. 
and use these on these days rather than days where you have a full face of makeup and maybe it's gonna make it look patchy and sticky and stuff. I think this is the best way of using this. So I'd like to finish this by the end of the year. I don't know if I'd be able to because I don't usually wear like these type of faces in the summer, but I'm gonna try and find a way of using this even with full faces of makeup and see how it goes. Maybe if I use a lighter hand, it might go well. Finally, the last uh, item I have in my project pan, which is not really uh, makeup related, which is not makeup related, but it's beauty related, is that a perfume from Givenchy, Gentleman, uh, which is a, a perfume my parents bought me for my <laughs> graduation from a master's, which means it was very quite expired, but <laughs> Um, as a present because I, I want to get a nice perfume and I, I did quite like it. I don't know if it was that unique. I, I want to look for like a very unique me smell. But anyway, and I finished this. So the bowl is like pretty much empty. There's a tiny bit, but I haven't been able to like open this. I'm just gonna, I don't want to break the bowl just to like finish these few drops. So I consider this finished. So it means that I'm now allowed to buy a new perfume, which I'm really excited to do whenever I save enough money for that. And I would like to buy a cruelty-free one because Givenchy is not cruelty-free. So if you go, any suggestions of cruelty-free perfume you would recommend to me, I would love to hear them. Um, I'm not sure what I like. So if there's like options to like maybe have a, a kit of testers, then that's like, great because then I can decide like what kind of smell like and voila that's the end of my little update on my project pan I'm very new to this so I hope I'm doing everything right uh, let me know if you've got any project pan going maybe if you've got like YouTube videos about it then you can maybe mention them so I can go and see them and encourage you and just encourage people to use the products and uh, have sustainable approaches to life and be good and I mean not that we're gonna save our planets by just being in the shower but you know we can try. I hope you enjoyed this video feel free to leave any of your thoughts advice anything in the comments I would I love chatting with you folks and responding to your comments. If you want to support me in my channel, you can give this video a like, you can leave a comment, any engagement interactions with my content helps me gain visibility in the YouTube algorithm and that's always appreciated. If you don't know what comment to leave but you still want to support my channel, then consider leaving this emoji in your comment. As it were, still interacting with me and supporting me. And I thank you for your effort. You're good, you're a good human being. I like you, yes. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care of yourself, bye-bye. Mm.